Do you remember the hot coffee case at McDonald's? 2.1 million? Yes. Wouldn't that, like, that was frivolous that paid off, right? Like, it's coffee, of course. It's going to be hot. <laughs> like, hot. And that's the thing. Let me tell you what the personal injury lawyers do. Then we get to that thing. Because that coffee case, that was the start of the tort reform in the United States by the corporation to make it the flagship case to say, oh, you see, one cup of coffee cost the McDonald's millions of dollars. But they don't know the facts, right. what happened to that case exactly and why. In the United States, there is no regulation as to how the business they conduct their businesses, contrary to the other countries. It's an adversarial system. It means that the lawyers are the people that are going to monitor the productions and the rules and create rules for the standard of the industries, actually. Okay. So if the lawyers are not motivated to get the contingency fee and the correct, like the Fort Pinto case, the famous one, yes? Yeah. The Fort Pinto, actually, after that accident... The gas tank, The gas right? tank, that yeah. it was huge, right. actually. Do you remember? Yeah. It was a long time ago. They changed their manufacturing, yes? They changed the standards. They changed the... They come up with the higher standard of the production, yes? Right. Because of what? Because they're going to cost the businesses money if they ignore or negligent or grossly negligent as to design or something that is a standard of industry and they omit it from the production. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And the kind of, actually, I call it, uh, and the Lincoln says that lawyers are the engineers of the society. Mm. Okay? Look at it that way. Mm -hmm. Because we are just setting the rules and uh, by suing people, by suing even the, by suing, for example, your dad. Right. Okay? Possibly the other people looked at it and say, hey, if with this person that who did nothing got sued like this yeah, and I spend their fortune to defend it, yeah. yes, yeah. what happens if someone sues against us and we really did it? What do we have to do? Right. Yeah. It's an alert. It's an alarm to them. It's a boom, boom, boom. Be careful. It's coming. Yes. Right. And the people, they change their behavior. The manufacturer changed their manufacturing line because they see that there are some lawyers that are out there that are going after them. Right. So it's an adversarial system. It means that the lawyers, they enforce the laws, not the government. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. And there's a defense lawyers that are defending it to get the uh, stability in yep. the system. If you weaken each of these parts, it's going to be what? Collapsing of the system. And that tort reform act that started after that McDonald's case right is trying to blame everything on the frivolous lawsuit <laughs> right but you cannot just do that because there are frivolous defenses as well sure. and everyone thinks oh yeah but no after that mcdonald reduced the temperature and the uh, still the starbucks is reduced their temperature of the coffee or put the extra hot or make it a double cup or right. a special cup for the extra hot stuff yes right. yeah so it changed something yes yeah you achieve something as a lawyer Yes. Yeah, Even yeah. though they are putting as a flagship and put it on the top of the pole and say how it cost a million of fortune for the McDonald's for selling what coffee? No, that's not the thing that you look at. Okay? Yeah. That's what the change that came to the industry after that is important.